Hi NEET aspirants, welcome to an academy NEET English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and in today's video we are going to talk about the strategy to score 650 plus marks if you're starting from zero, if you're starting in last three months. If you are actually, if you are actually if you are a NEET aspirant you must be thinking that ma'am is it actually possible that if we are starting from zero is it actually possible that we can get 650 plus marks and especially when the time duration is this only last three months so what I am trying to tell you here see you people you need such videos right you need such videos there is a demand that that is why the teachers like me they used to make such videos but to add today in this video this video is going to be very different from all other videos because I'm going to give you a reality check to be very honest right whatever I'm going to tell you you all can relate it with your a day-to-day -day life you all can relate it with your preparation see first of all when I'm using the word zero actually do you really think that if you don't know anything from class 11th and 12th syllabus you can crack this no it's a big no right so if you really don't know anything from class 11th and 12th syllabus then please do not watch this video do not waste your time so why am I saying why am I telling you the word zero zero means let's say you have started your preparation or you were studying properly in class 11th and 12th but but you you don't have that vision that how to further proceed for your NEET 2024 okay or maybe you are going to a coaching you're taking the daily basis you are taking the classes daily you are making the notes but still still you do not have that proper pattern you do not have that proper strategy or you are not scoring good marks in your mock test and you don't know how to start and you have decided that now right I am going to take a fresh start so if you are that kind of aspirant they definitely this video is for you if you are actually serious then definitely this video is for you so today I'm going to start this video with this particular quote and trust me it touches my heart that decisions they help us to start when we decide something now right it is going to encourage you that yes you are deciding something means you have to start something but but that is not it no doubt I can motivate you with the help of this video but it is the discipline right if you are motivated you can start something but if you are disciplined you can continue something and that's what you need to understand here firstly decide and then be disciplined be disciplined because discipline helps us to finish okay so before before listening before listening to me further right please please tell me please tell me in the chat section that actually are you serious are you serious to give it a fresh start are you serious to complete your syllabus with a proper planning are you serious to crack NEET 2024 because if you will start with this particular thought that yes I have to score 650 plus marks now right if you will plan your uh, plan your study schedule accordingly then definitely at least not 650 but yes somewhere in the range of 500 and 600 marks you people are going to get and that is also the most wonderful thing so firstly you have to decide so instead of wasting these last three months if you will decide and if you will start your study properly now then definitely you can do something see students what is the thing it is not you can talk about any of the exam right you can literally talk about any of the exam it's not about the syllabus it's not about your knowledge it's always about that how you how you give that paper it's always about that exam day right your exam day on your exam day how well you are performing right that is going to decide your marks and trust me for performing well on that exam day you have to prepare you have to prepare it properly and sometimes what happens some students they start they start like this right they continue the same speed right they they give their best but in last three months they just they just they just they are just like blank they don't know anything they don't know how to prepare further okay sometimes when we start something from the starting we continue it with the same pace there comes a point of saturation and when and then we decide no I cannot continue it further so basically the most important thing is that just before the three to four months of exam how well you are preparing so yes these last three months can be the game changer right you you were asking me that is it possible yes it is possible these last two to three months can be a game changer if you are not studying properly in last two to three months yes you are going to you are going to lose many marks of yours so be serious in this last three months this is the first advice I want to give you now let's talk about the aspirant see see let's say if you are giving the mock test you are going to a coaching or 
uh, like online you are giving a paper but your marks are in the range of 300 to 400 that is why you are concerned or your marks are in the range of 500 to 450 or somewhere in 400 to 500 and 500 to 550 and you want to make it 550 plus then in that case what you need to do how can you start the preparation this is what we are going to discuss see if you have completed at least 50 percent of your syllabus before right at least 50 percent of your syllabus before right you know that yes i know that syllabus right if uh, I will revise it I can master that then it is fine but but if you do not know the 50% of syllabus if you know less than 50% then it is the time for the smart strategy okay and as per that start uh, smart strategy what you have to do you should have a proper timetable for next three months right firstly make the timetable for next three months decide which chapters are you going to finish now which chapters you need to finish the most scoring chapters if you are thinking that now i am going to complete the entire syllabus no it's not possible let me be very honest it is not at all possible for you now if you are thinking that you can master entire physics and chemistry not possible so what should be the smart strategy see if you are targeting the marks in the range of 500 550 or 550 plus the one thing is for sure that you cannot leave the biology you cannot leave 32 chapters of biology because this is the easiest target bachi. this is the easiest target if you are going to complete all the 32 chapters of biology you can ensure your 350 plus marks and trust me it is not a difficult task right three three uh, basically 32 chapters are there 32 chapters are there i hope you have seen that video of mine that even if you are going to give three days to each chapter still you have time still you have time right this is the first thing now when it comes to the physics and chemistry right i'll give you one target initially that please pick up the 10 chapters i'm not saying 10 topics please pick up the 10 chapters please pick up the chapters the most scoring chapters right if you are thinking that you are going to go topic wise instead of that i'll suggest you right please go chapter wise just pick up the 10 important most important chapters of physics and chemistry right please make sure that you have completed this portion i know at this time we feel anxious right when we look at the syllabus when we discuss the things with our uh, fellow uh, friends we discuss the things with our friends with our fellow aspirants when they tell us about another chapters we feel anxious when they talk about different books we we feel like that we don't know anything no no you have to you have to believe in your strategy right and that strategy should not be influenced let's say you are listening to a to any topper you're listening to your teacher and your teacher is telling you that every day you have to study for 12 hours 14 hours and you're like okay i'm going to do the same no you have to decide what type of learner you are if you are a slow learner then definitely you need you need more time right you have to realize that are you good in physics in chemistry or in biology you need to work on your strengths now okay okay let's say you are good in physics and chemistry you are weak in biology or vice versa whatever it can be right so every day you have to give time to your strong subject if you are thinking students that now i am not going to focus on my strong subject it is already strong i should focus on my weak subject and then i will uh, you know compensate it my strong already that particular sub subject is strong i can manage it anytime no no if you are strong in biology or in chemistry or in physics please practice that every day please make sure that at least in that particular subject you are scoring very good okay and this is my suggestion students do not leave biology at any cost if you are actually targeting 650 600 plus marks this is what i can say then pick up the important chapters from physics and chemistry then at this point of time you can go for the one shots right if you have completed that chapter you have notes then okay revise from your notes practice the question follow the ncrt practice the pyq but if it is not like that please go for the one shots if you are thinking now that in detail i'm going to study i will study this i will study that not possible at this point of time it is not possible please take the help from one shots please make the notes as per that start practicing the pyq right bache that should be the part of your routine okay so everyday question practice is important let's say in biology i'll give you one example we have 32 chapters so let's say from each chapter even from each chapter if you will practice at least 
let's say from one chapter you are practicing 200 questions so don't you think that from that if from each chapter i'm not talking about the entire syllabus i'm talking about the two i'm talking about the one chapter right so if from one chapter you are practicing 200 questions so from 32 chapters you can see how many questions you can practice and don't you think out of that questions you can get 90 questions ultimately it is the previous year questions that are going to be asked again and again so this is what you need to realize people this is what you need to realize so you have to work on your strategy so for biology because we have to we should have that good hold on biology in biology you even save time when you know the topic you can finish your paper in 30 to 40 minutes you can use that time for the physics and chemistry okay now for the physics and chemistry right for the most scoring chapter students right for the most scoring chapters again follow the same strategy when you are done with a particular topic you're done with a particular topic right but so after that after that start practicing as much questions as you can as much questions as you can and then now if you're done with that 10 chapters now what's the next step the next step is pick up the most important topics from other chapters again i'm telling you please liberate that thought this is my way bache. when i know that i cannot complete the syllabus before exam i decide to at least pass that exam and for that i have to pick up the important topics i have to pick up the important chapters that's what you have to do people that's what you have to do once you ensure now that now i'm ready for 450 marks i'm ready for 460 marks that's it that's all right then slowly slowly you will feel you'll feel better you'll feel confident and then obviously that confidence is going to help you to grow that's what you have to understand and if you are thinking that in the april month only you are going to give the mock test again there is a mistake please go for chapter wise mock test please go for chapter wise mock test and wherever you are making the mistake please start making the error notebook and revise that errors again and again it is only about the ncrt that at the end we have to master it is going to give you it is going to give you 600 plus marks so do not underestimate this book okay so please first of all what should be the takeaways there should be a target table first of all you should know that what you are going to complete in the month of january in the month of february or in the month of march this is what you are going to consider maximum maximum take first week of april just first week of april after that only revision we are not allowed to take any extra topic this is the time to complete the syllabus and 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 that's not it students that's not it right you have month wise target and in that month you should have weekly target weekly targets help us to grow better right this month i have decided that in one week uh, in one week this is what i'm going to complete so it used to put a pressure on me because on sunday i'm going to analyze myself okay so that's what right it is actually it actually work i have applied on it on me so this is what you people need to do okay so you should have the proper target table every week right for the physics for the chemistry for the biology do not i'm repeating this line do not leave your strong subject right your strong subject is your strength please take it right till your neat examination please take care of such things please do not change your strategy again and again you have decided one thing do not listen to your friends do not listen to your family okay if in mock test continuously you are getting low marks then start analyzing your mock test and please pay attention that what kind of mistakes are you making is it a conceptual mistake or is it a silly mistake or is it the problem of time management because when you know your problems then only you can have the solution for that right so please i now what i am expecting from you people that in the chat section i want to know about your targets especially for the month of january those who are watching my video they have to write that in the month of january from physics from chemistry from biology that's what we are going to complete okay and that is going to be your motivation and this time you have to achieve it yes you can score good marks you can score very good marks you can score marks up to 600 and more than 600 as well but at this point of time you have to put extra efforts you really need to put extra efforts and stop comparing yourself with others stop listening to another interview uh, interviews of the toppers just believe in yourself if you have decided and if you are disciplined trust me you can do it 
trust me you can do it so right now right now in the comment section just let me know about your targets right targets of your january month for the physics for the chemistry and for the biology as well i want maximum students to score 360 out of 360 in biology from this channel only and that's why that's why we are providing you the content the best content if you are following our one shots bache there is no need to go beyond that right if you follow that classes you read the ncrt you practice pyqs that is going to be the perfect solution for you and same thing here we are providing you people right in our neat end game batch that we have started on second of Jan that that we started on second of january right so in the description box there is a link if you want to be the part of this batch most welcome because we have just started okay and in 100 days we are going to finish your maximum syllabus your most important topics and accordingly the course is designed in such a way that all your entire syllabus will be finished but yeah we'll pay attention we'll pay more attention on your most important topics there will be proper mock test here right the quality content will be delivered to you in this time span okay so in the in the chat section in the description box you people can see there is a link and this is the code that you have to apply and you will be the part of this batch okay so in this batch proper revision proper ncrt reading proper pyq practice even the mock test they are going to help you to complete your syllabus they will they will provide you a proper schedule you will be disciplined sometimes we don't know from where we need to start we are anxious so we here in this batch you know that teacher is teaching you a chapter right all the teachers of physics chemistry biology they are teaching you something so you will have a proper schedule to look after and to practice accordingly right but so please do not forget these things that mock test yes it is important right you can go for the mo uh, weekly mock test pyq practice yes it is important and how with the help of a timer do not miss the timer do not just sit randomly and start practicing the question always always use the timer then ncrt reading and yes you should have your short notes clear please be confident stay confident take care of your health as well Take proper sleep. Yes, you can do it. We'll crack it together. Stay tuned. Thank you so much.